In this video, we will be discussing on the topic vertical stress and rectangular loaded area. In the previous uh, videos and lectures, we have seen equations of Bosnisk acting as a point load, then as a line load, under strip area condition, and then the circular area condition. So the diff equations are different for each cases. And now coming to a rectangular loaded area. The equation for sigma is said in case of a rectangular loaded area is sigma is equal to q into i suffix n, where q we have already we already know on that term uh, we have been using uniform load intensity coming on the particular area, and i n is a new term i suffix n. It is inference factor, which is a function of m and n. And I will uh, define what an m and n is. So, uh, the i suffix n means it is the influence factor. And then coming to m and n, I have given a figure at the bottom. Uh, it is a rectangular area. And then we have a point P. And then we must find the vertical stress intensity at a point Z below. So, I have drawn the Z at the uh, Z as a depth also. Then the rectangle has. Uh, the dimensions B and L I have shown B and L clearly. So M can be written as M is equal to B by Z and N is equal to L by Z. And we should know that this uh, values of M and N can be interchanged. So M can be also be written as L by Z and then n is equal to b by z where z is the depth and l and b are the dimens dimensions of the rectangle taken so if m is taken as b by z then n is equal to l by z if m is equal to l by z then n is equal to b by z just interchange both the values and find the values of m and n okay now we will be coming to the various cases associated there are four cases associated with this rectangular loaded area Case 1, the point of consideration is anywhere within the rectangle area. So, we have the rectangle, uh, look at the figure, A, B, C, D and then we take a point P at the, at a point somewhere inside the rectangle and at a depth of Z from that point P downwards, we should find the vertical stress intensity. So, if we have taken P at any anywhere, the point is P anywhere, then we can further divide the rectangle with the respect with respect to that point P as we will be, uh, we will be uh, dividing the rectangles as uh, four more component components or compartments like A E P G E B H P P H C F and G P F D. These four components will be obtained when we take P at any point and then we should know that I have uh, listed uh, the four commandments as 1, 2, 3, 4. Each of these compartments will have different values of I suffix N. That is, inference factors values will be different for all these four cases. So, because we should know that uh, the inference values depend on, as I have previously told, M and N where m is equal to b by z and n is equal to l by z or vice versa. So, all these points, all portions, say 1, 2, 3, 4, will have different values of i n. So, we should know the, then the vertical stress equation is given by the equation sigma z at p is equal to, the equation I have been already said in the previous uh, slide, q is, uh, sigma z is equal to q into i n. So, here there will be four types of i n. So, Q into I n 1 plus I n 2 plus I n 3 plus I n 4 where these are the influence factors of the respective areas 1, 2, 3 and 4. This will be more clear when we do the numericals but just understand if P is somewhere within the rectangle area there will be 4 influence factor values for each area and I n is dependent on the values of M and N. Okay. Then next coming, next point, 
the point P at the center of rectangle. In the previous case, P was like somewhere within the rectangle, but in this case, directly at the center of rectangle, point P is right. So, here also we can divide as uh, four compartments, one, two, three, four, with the P as a common point. But here, we should know that uh, the influence factor values will be same because it is lying at the center of the rectangle. So, the equation will be sigma z at p is equal to 4 times i n q because uh, the values will be same. So, just multiply by 4 to get the value of sigma z. Now, third point, point p at the edge of nodal area. We have the rectangle area a, b, c, d and we can do, uh, we can see the point P lies at the edge of a particular uh, line AB. So, we can say that uh, we can just divide the total area into two portions, one and two, because it is lying at the edge. So, directly we can cut the rectangle into two parts, and then we will have two sets of IN inference factor. So, sigma is at P is equal to Q into IN1 plus IN2. Q into IN1 plus i n 2 just as uh, two portions dividing the whole rectangle into two portions this is the case 3 and coming to the last case this is the most uh, important one usually asked in the numericals p outside the lottery area we have the area a b c d and our point p is lying outside that area as in the figure you can see that p lies outside so we must draw in this case a bigger rectangle connecting the point P with the new points. So here I have, we have the uh, rectangle ABCD and we should connect the point P to ABCD somehow. For that we draw a greater triangle that is AEPH. Just look AEPH and then we give the numbers as uh, the one is not for that ABCD but for the whole rectangle area which is newly drawn that is the inference factor 1 IN1 will be for AEPH that full area then the 2 is written for the portion BEPG and 3 is written for DFPH and the 4 is written for CFPG so understand 1 2 3 4 not taken directly 1 is for the whole structure a e p h 2 is for b e p g 3 is for d f p h and 4 c f p g so here the equation will be sigma z q into i n 1 the full area minus i n 2 minus i n 3 plus i n 4 that plus i n 4 comes because we have uh, reduced that uh, common portion twice both in case of uh, 2 and 3 so we add it once more in the last then the equation becomes q into i n 1 minus i n 2 minus i n 3 plus i n 4 and i n 1 i n 2 i n 3 i n 4 are the respective influence factor for the particular area taken I have written the terms here AEPH, BEPG, TFPH and CFPG. So, this equation taken in case when the uh, point P is outside the lottery area. Just look out these equations and then we will do numericals for further uh, studies. Okay.